Hello, lads. How are you two doing? Good. Yeah, good. Good. Well, I should have probably started off by saying hello, hello there. there. You're going to get that so much today, aren't you? It's going to be war off the duck's back by the end of it. But it is meme legacy. Is that a thing? A meme legacy? Meme legacy. Oh. That's up there for memes. That's like top tier hello there meme. <laughs> I don't think I've ever started a conversation and not sent that, in all honesty. Really? Oh, I told you, I'm so unoriginal. All right. <laughs> Have you two ever used a meme of yourselves, a gif of yourselves, in conversation, friends or family? <sighs> you can't say that I have. I do knock out hello there every now and again. I'm asked to say it a lot, and I don't, I don't like to say it if I'm asked to, by strangers and stuff, you yeah. know, on the street, because I think that's odd. It's Alec Guinness, though, you know, I... He said it first. Yeah, true. I mean, it's, it was his first line in The New Hope, isn't it? I bet you he sent that gift to all of his mates, so to he be used fair. To do he it used to do it all the time. Like, yeah. I was actually bored of him it at some like, point. Like, Not again. <laughs> you must be happy that the Jedi mullet hasn't made a return in this after <laughs> Attack of the Clones. I don't know why I'd have given every Jedi a mullet. Yoda would have had a mullet, Chewie would have had a mullet, everyone, if it were up to me. You had a mullet, didn't you? Uh, did you have a mullet? Not it, really. It was, it was like a partial mullet. So obviously you didn't want the mullet, but what did you like to ha like come back to when you returned to the series? Well, everything about playing him was, was satisfying, you know, to come back to a character that you played already three, three times before, but like quite a long time ago. And uh, to come back to re-explore him as an older guy and in a, in a different frame of mind, in a different state. You know, we knew Obi-Wan Kenobi from the original three films that I did. And then from episode four with Alec Guinness as this sort of um, Jedi master, like a top Jedi. who sat in the Jedi Council in episode three. And, and then to take him into a sort of broken place was, was really interesting to do. Hayden, I've waited a long time to see your Anakin return and now it's like a bus. I've waited so long and I get it twice now because obviously you star in Obi-Wan Kenobi but you're also filming for the Ahsoka series on Disney Plus. Now, oh, there you, well, between you and me, I won't even tell Ewan. He'll cover his ears, he won't know. What's different between that and Obi-Wan Kenobi? Well, I, I don't know, I can't really speak to the Ahsoka series. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that one, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, mystery. I like it. And finally, Ewan, we get to see you play Obi-Wan Kenobi again after like 20 years of not seeing you as Obi on screen. I'm going to give you the chance to come back as one more of your characters again. I'll bankroll it all. I'm going to give you three choices. Okay. Okay. Renton from Trainspotting, Christian from M Moulin Rouge, or Rodney Copperbottom from Robots. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I did a voice for an animation called Robots. Oh, you did? Yeah, Rod Rodney Copperbottom. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hello there and a Rodney Copperbottom. Yeah. That's great. We could do a sort of a mix, a sort of mashup of the three, maybe. Rodney and, um, Copperbottom sort of singing your song? Doing heroin. Uh, there you go! <laughs> that would be it. Uh, oh my god, that is a film you need to watch. I, I would definitely watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look for this Robots, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's watch it. Me and you, we'll get some popcorn in and we'll watch it together. It'll be the best night of your all life, right, I promise right, you. I'll we'll have to do that.